So welcome to a beautiful Thursday. And I hope it's a really great day for you. And if you take a minute, come on into my little world and let's share a thought. I came across something this morning that really caught my attention. And I want to share it with you. Kind of in a week, as I'd spoken the other day about Vern, who left the vegetables stuck in our doorway, and how I thought about that kind deed. Maybe it's a week to think about kind deeds. For this morning, as I picked up the newspaper and was glancing through it, I came across an obituary. And there I saw a write-up about a man I had not seen in about 35 years. I read through it and thought about him and remembered how much I liked him. It didn't seem like 35 years had passed, though I hadn't seen him in a long time, obviously. I hadn't really heard about him in a long time. Really didn't even know whether he was alive or dead at that point, but I floated back over the years. Really didn't know him for a long period of time, fairly short. Our time together in a congregation of the church was fairly short as they had moved on. And I stayed longer with the congregation. I'd had a few funerals with the family involved, but that all passed by and the years have just gone by in the decades now. But as I saw his picture and, and read the write-up, I have to say a kind word even about a lawyer. <laughs> I know. I know what we say about him. But you know, at a time when I needed help, there he was. He didn't intend and run up to, to see if I had a need, but something came up and I needed something. Actually, I contacted his wife who put me in his hands. We sat down together across the table. We talked about the situation. I didn't know what to do to resolve it, but he said, you know, I think I can take care of this for you. He made a phone call or two, wrote a letter. The letter was sent. I received a response from the people to whom it was sent and everything was settled and done. I went to him later and I said, I, I need to do something for you. He said, no, just a small, small thing. And he said, if I can do it for you, that's just fine. Well, as I said, sometime not that long later, we parted ways, not anything bad, just each moving on with time and differences, changes, jobs, things like that. And I hadn't seen him or his family for a long time. And when I read that this morning, I thought about what a kind thing he had done for me. It may have been small and simple to him, but it was very important in my life. And it stuck with me. I don't guess I'll forget it. Saved me a lot of trouble. Maybe saved me a lot of money. Didn't charge me for what he was doing. Just simply did a kind deed. You know, when you read what Paul says about the graces of a Christian life, I mean, Peter's, sorry about that. Peter says about the graces of a Christian life. He says we need to add, give all diligence to add to our faith virtue and to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love. It's really that simple. But that simple word, or simple phrase, brotherly kindness. You think about that. It may sound like a small and simple thing and sometimes it's no more than a pat on the back. Or maybe it's a few phone calls and a letter sent. He's not the only one that I've seen through the years by any means. But in our short time together and in that one event, I saw the greatness of kindness. And that's what remains. You know, Etienne de Grillet, the Quaker missionary, wrote a statement that's been on posters and quoted so many times through the years. He said, I shall pass this way but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness I can show to any human being, let me show it now. Let me not defer nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. 
I guess the admonition of the moment is, whatever kindness you may show, whatever good you may do, do it today before the day is gone. And I bet it will be remembered. I hope you're having a great Thursday and I hope you're able to find that, that moment, that opportunity to see it done for you or to do it yourself for someone else. Hey, have a great day and let the graces of this Christian life be with you. And Jesus, we have the great example and maybe in others as well. Thanks for being with me today and we'll share some more as the days go by. Again, glad you're with me.